Good morning. Good morning. I am going to come on. It's emotional. I'm going to come on soon live. We're going to do weekend energy. Um, totally pulled to these cards real quick. So let's see what the deal is. If you guys hear the noise in the background, my dad is vacuuming up the glass. I don't know what broke. I didn't go out there. All I know is that my dad was like, you know, why is everything so damn sentimental to you? <laughs> talking talking to my mom. So, uh, I don't know what that's about or what busted. So, I was like, I'm going to keep my distance. Um, my favorite all-time card is in this deck. The death card. <laughs> so... Alright, so it is Friday, October 25th. Let's see what we're looking at. And I almost want to do dun 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 dun. Hold on, I haven't opened these cards in a long time. Alright. October 25th, 2019. This is just kind of sometimes this deck is soft, soft energy, which is nice, you know? So we got the Nine of Pence, Nine of Wands. Hmm. I see, I see, it's just battles, but not like, it, it's just, I, I, mentally worn, someone needs to just relax, don't, don't give up, but chill out. You know what I mean? Like, not chill out as in, like, you need to calm down. It's, it's just relax. Could be down with um, Aries, the Sag, or it's just was your spark, you know. Um, someone needs a spark back, something like that. For some, not for everyone, obviously, right? Um, I, I feel like rejuvenation with that card. I don't know why. Really, really, guys. 2019, please. I, you know, normally this this card would be speaking of um, don't give up the fight, get up, stand up. So we got the Knight of Swords. That is an energy that won't give up okay um it's it's clear communication sometimes it can be brutal i'm just kind of looking at the it looks like blood to me and like another another kind of like war so there's definitely a battle um I almost want to say battle of the sexes, so I don't know what that's about, but, um, sorry, I'm shaking my bed right now, trying to really absorb this lotion. The first one I put on wasn't that great. Um, 
I mean, looking at these, it is get up, stand up. It, it, don't don't give up. Whatever is going down. Stay determined. You might get a message, or you might have been arguing with somebody, you know, battling. That's not giving up, though. So I, I think it's, I mean, it could have been an argument. It's about communication. If somebody's just exhausted. Um... Knight of Swords does not normally look like that. Troops, again, you could be dealing with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Leo, Aries, Sag. It looks like direct communication, though. He's not hiding behind the wands, you know. He's climbing out. He or she is climbing out. I wouldn't say this is very supportive energy, but it is direct. Maybe somebody is extremely persistent and they're going to let somebody else know how persistent they are. It really just depends, Ten of Cups came out, it really just depends on what happens when we clarify this, okay? So, it looks like somebody might let somebody know that something's going down in the family, or look at you, you are my happy, right? Um, why'd you take away my happy? But I, I don't like that I even said that because in all reality, it, it's like, it, it's, someone else doesn't really take away your happy. Someone else's energy can take away your happy, but that's if you let it get the best of you, right? So it really just depends on where you're at mentally. Mentally, if, if that's what it is, I can see that. You know, why this, you know, I'm not happy, this isn't working, yada, yada. Tell me about the nine of wands. So let's just clarify these three. Ooh, okay, yeah. Uh, it's the Eight of Cups. It's just packing up your shit and leaving. It, it's, it's leaving a battle. It, something was just too much of a battle. Okay, um, get the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck, so it was just, it's stressful. But the Eight of Cups always walks to the happy, and it's going towards the past. I think somebody just couldn't handle the weight of something. And they let someone know it could have been crushing. This just reminds me of hurt. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Like the message or the arguing. Um, this, I'm not going to lie to you, this reminds me exactly of uh, a meme I posted today. It, um... What was it? It was, um, stay away from people who think you're arguing every time you try to express yourself. See what I'm saying? So it's like, this is you telling yourself, you know, not right now. You know, I'm staying away from the arguing. And it's like, this is expressing, but it hurt. And it hurt because the message went towards somebody that makes them happy. Okay, so stay away from people that you think are arguing with you every time you express yourself. And this is exactly 
what I'm feeling. So I feel like you might just need to relax. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. It wasn't whoever delivered the message or is going to deliver a message. It wasn't easy. You know, a fool. So it's almost like it's the same person. It's all like it's all the same person. You know, it's it's like spiritually knowing that you had to take yourself out of an equation, and it and it wasn't easy. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. You could be dealing with an Aries, but um, Ten of Cups. This was a situation where it looks to me you weren't in Ten of Cups energy, right? And it looks like the Queen of Cups. Um, she could have been content, but now we got the Nine of Swords, right? So at one point, but look at the jar. She got a lid on the jar. How's the fish going to even survive? It's like, help. You know? And so it's like her happy. Her happy is just not happy. This could be a very small argument or it could have been a very big situation, right? But I don't know if she tried to express herself. It, it didn't work out. It looks like it. It looks like she did. It looks like someone did. Look at the pain in that card. Someone had to be direct. It's all the same energy. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. What is this person walking towards? So maybe this, maybe this will help you. It's almost like following divine guidance too. Instinct, intuition. Could not be telling people to. You might kind of be keeping it hush hush. You don't want it to affect your family. For some, you're just mentally, physically worn, exhausted, fear wants. So he or she is walking towards the future. You know, not walking towards a, a break or a pause. Going on a, on a mission. It looks to me like a spiritual journey. There could be travel involved. <clears throat> um, but you're going towards your ships. Somebody made a hard decision to let go of that happy. Because they're happy was not they're happy. Or they weren't feeling happy. Just don't understand why they're going in this direction. I mean, some tarot readers will read in this direction. You know, so in all retrospect, if that is the case, it's just this energy, you know. And it's like, if that was the case, you would have been turning your back to all this to get to your happy. So either way, you, you're obviously going to find you happy again, right? But right now it's, you're focused on the future, you're focused on what's in front of you. There wasn't time to focus on this. There wasn't time to be sad or, or sorrow. And this is either a big boy or a big girl moving away from something that wasn't making them happy anymore. And it couldn't have been easy because they're on their own individual journey. And it looks like, you know, 
somebody could have partaked, but um, <clears throat> tell me about the three of wands real quick. Just want to see what you're going towards. Nine of Pence, confidence, integrity, stability. Okay, so you have to find your passion again. That's what I'm feeling. So that's fantastic. Best advice for the Queen of Cups. So hopefully this doesn't come in with the weekend energy now that we got something like this out of the way. Um, <clears throat> Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups. Best advice for the Queen of Cups. I think you already know your best advice. Okay. Um, you got the King of Swords. You got an Aquarian energy. So it's it's just it's <sighs> stay mentally focused too. King of Swords is very um, it's like leadership very intellectual, very tell me about the king of swords the page of wands is at the bottom of the deck so you might just have to take on the persona of the king of swords which to me is saying you might need to detach Um, King of Swords is very elusive energy, somebody who's not engaged all the time when it comes to the aloof energy, right? So you got to detach, detach yourself from sorrow, pain is what it's telling me. It's also telling me you're going into the yin and the yang, you know. It's yin and yang, guys, but it's actually yin and yang. If we're going to say it properly, i got to say it the right way. But for those who are like, what is she talking about, yin and yang? Masculine, feminine. So it's like you're almost going into masculine energy play that role because it's like you, you're looking in this in this one direction right so three of pence just this a new contract could be a karmic contract um could be work you know put your mental focus on work you're definitely a team player though okay so hang in there i want to show you the death card I just love it. Okay. So hang in there, troops. It doesn't it doesn't look like an awful scenario. It really doesn't. It may feel like it. And I I don't think for long though, temporary. Like I didn't even see the be of swords. I didn't even see things. I mean, I, I saw the pain, so if the pain's not being expressed, it, it's obviously bothering you still. You can see it within the scriptures, depiction, the depictions on the cards, right? So, but continue to put your focus on a, a new journey, a new venture. I don't feel any negative energy like that coming from that read, okay? So that's a good thing, which is telling me you're not going to be in that energy for a certain amount of time, you know, like it, temporarily, temporarily, you know, walk away is, is hard, but... Not the way you did it. There's nothing left in the 
to be left in the air, like very clear communication. And you did it with your heart and soul, especially with the Ten of Cups there. So I'll see you guys shortly. I love you. Bye. Sorry for my little mouse.